Well, welcome back to our Project Plus playlist. So we're going to cover the acronym list. Trust me, you'll want to know them. So this is taken right from the exam objectives. Um, and these are golden. Understanding the acronyms will really help you because if someone throws something at you, a question on the test um, that has an acronym, if you know what it is, then it will help you it, answer that question. And if acronyms are in the answers, it'll help you weed things out. Uh, and boy, we like our acronyms, our TLAs, three letter acronyms. Okay, some of these are more or less than three letters. So, an application programmable interface, API, enables software applications to communicate with each other, okay? A business analyst identifies business needs and translates them into technical requirements. They kind of sit between the business and the techies. Um, change control board. It's responsible for reviewing and approving changes and has all the um, pr appropriate stakeholders and the people who can approve and deny things. Continuous in integration, continuous development. I often th hear this referred to as a pipeline. It's a software development practice that automates the code integration, testing, deployment, okay? Um, so that we can speed things up. A content management system is a platform that allows users to create, edit, manage digital content without expensive coding. I think of a Wikipedia. Um, customer relationship management, a system that helps business managements interact with customers by tracking things like uh, when they talk to them, what they bought, uh, what marketing's been done. Electronic document and records management system. It's used to securely store, manage, and track electronic documents and records uh, to help meet uh, monitor the uh, requirements. Okay. Um, enterprise resource. Plan, planning, enterprise, enterprise resource planning. Um, these are big systems um, that help do things like finance, supply chain, human rate resources, student. Um, those are some of the main ones. Um, th this is PeopleSoft, SAP, Oracle, um, Workday type things. Uh, ESG, environmental, social, and governance. Uh, it's the non-financial factors that help understand where a company is in the sustainable, ethical impact. Uh, and it can affect your project. Uh, infrastructure as a service. Uh, it provides virtualized computing resources um, over the internet, such as storage, compute, uh, so you don't need physical hardware because someone else is managing that for you. Biggest person out there is Amazon Web Services. Second, with, uh, distant second, but catching up is Azure. Uh, and then you have a bunch of other players like Google um, that are pretty far behind. Uh, information technology. Yeah, just all things IT. So, so um, computers, network, software, uh, the processes of, of accessing those, uh, it's just vital all around. Uh, joint application development. It's a method that brings stakeholders and IT teams to collaborate on project requirements and move things forward. Um, trying to avoid reworking things. Joint application review is where stakeholders review um, system requirements. Um, to help align them with business needs. Platform as a service. This provides a cloud-based platform for people to build, test, and deploy applications. So infrastructure as a service is where you, you do the most as your organization and the cloud provider does the least. Platform is a, is a step up. The cloud provider is doing a little bit more and you're doing a little less. Um, PERT, Program Evaluation Review Technique. It's a project management tool to visualize the time required to complete different tasks. Uh, per, uh, personal health information. It's the health related data to an individual uh, and is protected under HIPAA. 
uh, personal identifiable information is things like social security numbers, birthdays, address, phone numbers, full names. Um, project manager, the person that's overseeing a project. Uh, project management office oversees project managers. Uh, projects in controlled environments too. It's a structured project management methodology used in, to manage projects more efficiently. Big, big projects. Uh, quality assurance is the focuses on preventing defects on software. So having some quality standards there. Responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. So this is a matrix where you have people and project items and you list those people. Are they responsible for it? Are they uh, accountable? Are they consulted or are they informed? It's a, it's a big diagram. Responsibility uh, assignment matrix is a tool that project managers use to, um, to allocate tasks and responsibilities to team members. Uh, resource break structure. So breakdown structure. This is um, the project resources such as personal equipment and materials and it's uh, how they're allocated. A request for bid is when you're asking um, vendors to uh, give some bid on it. You're not quite ready to buy. Uh, that's a little later. Excuse me. Request for information is a document used to gather information uh, about vendors and their capabilities so you can uh, more solidify things and move forward with a project eventually. Request for a proposal is a bit more formal, asking vendors to submit how they would accomplish something. Um, so you actually have request for information first, request for proposals second, request for bid would be third, and request for a quote is last that's when you want specific quotes because you're intending on buying. Um, return on investment measures the profitability of investment by comparing what you've taken in or gained versus what you've lost or the cost. Um, software as a service, it's in that uh, cloud model and Software as a service, it, the cloud vendor is doing even more than platform as a service. So we had infrastructure, platform, and then software as a service. It eliminates the need for local installations. Okay, so examples for this would be like Google Drive, Dropbox, um, also email such as Office 365 Outlook would be software as a service. Scaled Agile framework, safe. It's a methodology that enables large enterprises to implement agile practices at scale. Uh, the software development life cycle defines the stages of software development from the planning and uh, to design and all the way to uh, uh, maintenance deployment and, uh, and getting rid of it. Um, so service level agreements, SLAs is the contract between a provider and a consumer or a service provider and a customer that defines the performance standards. What, how, how quickly does someone need to respond and fix things? So subject matter experts is a specialist with deep expertise in a particular area and provides insight uh, to the project team. SMS is short, short message service. Um, it's used to send notifications through mobile networks to to phones uh, and tablets if you have, anyway, uh, cellular connectivity, but mostly phones. Statement of work is a formal document outlining project deliverables, includes the scope um, and the client vendor expectations. Structured query language, it's the language used to query relational databases, uh, traditional databases, and it uh, is just the way of asking databases the questions and the databases give you back the answers. Um, terms of reference uh, defines object scope deliverables of a project or contract um, and framework of, of the execution. Work breakdown structure uh, decomposes a project into smaller, more manageable tasks. S anything as a service, X as a service, it's a, 
a term that allows you to put all the cloud-based services that with variable IT functions. Um, so it's anything. Extreme programming is an agile um, software development methodology uh, with very rapid integrations, uh, frequent testing, and close communication with customers. I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next one. We still have a little to go. Have a good one.